Hey guys, it's Katie. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to my new filming location. I finally got something set up. You guys will have to let me know what you think down in the comments. I'm still kind of tweaking it a little bit, but overall I'm pretty happy with it. I think it looks pretty cute. So today I'm going to be doing my September TBR a little bit late, but it's taken me a while to get moved in and like settled in. So I have eight books to talk about today, so let's just get straight into it. So I know eight books sounds like very ambitious, but actually the majority of these books I have to read for class, so my personal TBR is quite small. But the books that I'm reading for class are actually really cool because I'm taking some cool elective courses and stuff this year, so I'm still gonna show them to you guys because I think you guys might like them too. So the first one I have to talk about is The Spirit Catches You and You Fall Down by Anne Fademan. I'm actually currently in the middle of this one for an anthropology global health class. If you watch my weekly reading vlogs, I've already talked about this book a little bit in one of those, but it's basically about this family that's immigrated to America. They're Hmong, which means they kind of originated in Laos, but they've never really had a home country of their own. They've been like forced out and moved around because of all of these different groups. And so basically their child, Leah, has epilepsy, so they have to keep taking her to the hospital, like a very, very severe, rare case of it. And they don't speak any English, they're completely illiterate, and so the language barrier itself is like really challenging between them and the doctors and like trying to figure out how to treat their daughter but also the cultural barrier and the standard of care that they're expecting and willing to give to their daughter and they just have like completely different beliefs about why this is happening and how to treat it and stuff so it's just been like really insightful and interesting read. The most interesting clash of cultures and like trying to handle this situation and like who's in the right, who's in the wrong. It's just like very thought provoking and it's very easy to read. Like it's really well written. It's not like heavy, dense kind of text. So I've been flying through it. I haven't been able to put it down. I would actually really recommend this. I'm so glad that my class assigned this because I never would have picked this up on my own. So I'm about, I think we're halfway through this in class so far. So I definitely have to finish it this month. The next book I have to talk about was also assigned in one of my classes and I've already finished this one. And that was Utopia by Sir Thomas More. Apparently you like can't call this a novel because it was written before the novel existed. It was like 1516 was when this was written. And it's basically this like political, social, philosophical commentary kind of thing. And the book itself is like kind of interesting. What's cool is this guy coins the term utopia. Like utopia was not a word before this thing. And the story itself is like decently interesting. If you've read any utopian book, it's kind of clear that they got a lot of their ideas from this. But what's more interesting is like the history behind it because we're like talking about that a lot in class and how the guy who wrote this was working for the king at that time and so this was kind of his way as like trying to plant these ideas into his head without like clearly going against him. It's just been really interesting to talk about. I don't really have that much to say about this one besides that. But the next book that we're picking up in that class, I'm actually supposed to start this tonight for my homework, is The Tempest by William Shakespeare. I know a lot of people read this in high school. I never had to, so I'm actually kind of excited that I'm being forced to read this in one of my classes because I've always been kind of intrigued by it. I know a lot of things have been inspired by this or like adapted from this and based off of this, so I think it'll be cool to finally like read the original source material. I'm not a huge fan of Shakespeare. I know there's like two camps camps pretty much for Shakespeare. There's like the people who love it and like really seek it out and take like classes all about it. And then there's the people who can't stand it and think it's really hard and just don't like it. I'm kind of in between, like don't get me wrong. I'm definitely gonna like look up things online, like summaries and stuff to kind of help me through it. I'll read it too, but I kind of use that as like a supplemental material kind of thing. But I don't even know what this is about to be honest. I feel like I should, but I don't. And then the next book that I have to read for this class, this is all for the same class, is Looking Backward by Edward Bellamy. Again, I have absolutely no idea what this book is about. I hadn't even heard about it until this class. The class that these past three ones are for is like a utopian fiction class. So all of these books are about utopias or dystopias. And so we're like reading them all to compare them and stuff. So all I know is that it has something to do with the utopia, but I have no idea what this book is about. The next book I have to talk about is from a different class. I also talked about this in my previous vlog and that is Specimen Days by Michael Cunningham. I actually just finished this last night and I'd never heard of this book before but it actually came out like relatively recently. I believe it was like 2005, 2006 and it won all of these like literary awards. I had no idea and so basically it's three interconnected novellas and I hated the first one. I'm not going to talk about this a ton like I'll get more into it in my wrap up but basically I was so pleasantly surprised because I hated the first third of this book and then the second third third was so brilliant and brought everything around full circle and just like connected all of these things that it just completely made up for it and now I'm just convinced this guy is brilliant and it was so good. This was written right around the time when 9-11 happened so there's like a lot of references to that. Not even like like overt references but it's clearly 
talking about that and like influenced by that and inspired by that. Like it's not a lighthearted book, but I enjoyed this so much more than I was expecting to. I would actually really recommend this one. And so then the last book for my classes before I get into the fun ones is Contemporary American Short Fiction selected by Joyce. Carol Oates, Christopher R. Biha. So thankfully we're not reading this whole thing. We just have like some selected short stories to read in here, but I am someone who never seeks out short fiction on my own. I don't really read short stories. It's just not something I gravitate towards. So whenever classes assign this kind of thing, I actually kind of like it because it's forcing me to read outside of my comfort zone and pick up things that I wouldn't normally read, but I end up really enjoying. So I'm excited to kind of dip my toes into short stories some more this semester because Again, it's just something I'm so unfamiliar with and uncomfortable with, but these are supposed to be some of like the best short stories out there. So I guess we'll just have to see. So those are all of the books that I have to read this month that are assigned in my class, but I am gonna try and squeeze in a few for fun books in there. Pray for me, that's a lot of reading. I've been talking about this for one month or two months. That's how long I've been reading this book. That is Sacred Powers by David G. I wanna finish this book this month. This is something I've been like purposefully reading slowly. So I'm not like that upset that I haven't finished it, but I really have not been reading it consistently ever since I started the semester again. So really I just want to get back into it and read a little bit every day like I was doing before and if I do that I will finish it. And I am really enjoying this one. If you've watched my vlogs you've heard me talk about it a lot. It's basically about like law of attraction, spirituality, meditation, that kind of thing. It's just like a very peaceful zen kind of book. And then I also want to finish The Dire King by William Ritter. This is the final book in the Jacobi series and I've been reading this since before I got to school also. I find that this happens every semester or whatever book I'm like reading as the semester starts I just like sat down and never finished it has nothing to do with the book it's just like my state of mind and like how everything's changing and things get crazy I just like never end up picking it back up but I obviously don't want to do that for this book because it's the last book in a series and I'm really enjoying it so I want to finish it I need to finish it this month I actually am not sure how far I am into it because I've been listening to the audiobook I think I'm over halfway done though so that's like definitely doable to finish especially these books are like so fast-paced and short they're like really easy to read so the fact that I haven't finished this yet I have no excuses and I absolutely loved the third book in the series and so I just want to read this when I have enough time to like really focus on it and dedicate time towards it so I'm not like rushing through it like it's something that I really want to enjoy and then the last book on my TBR for this month is Catwoman by Sarah J Mass. I just received this in my Illumicrate box and I actually just started it the other night and this is something that I'm trying to finish this week I'm talking about it in my reading vlog for this week. But I definitely think that's doable because I'm listening to the audiobook and I listen to it while I get ready in the morning while I'm like doing my hair and my makeup when I'm like packing up my bag and making food and stuff. And even if I just listen to the audiobook for those 30 minutes in my day, I listen to it on two times speed, so that's like an hour. I think the audiobook in total is like 10 hours. So even if that's all I do, if that's the only time that I read this book, if I do that for 10 days, I will finish this book. So it's definitely doable. <laughs> I think this is the third of the DC Icon series books or something. I haven't read any of the other ones, but this is the first one that's actually appealed to me. You guys know I don't really like comic books or superheroes or that kind of thing, but this one showed up and I was actually like, oh, I'm kind of interested in that. It looks kind of cool. And I'm about 50 pages into it so far and I'm really, really enjoying it. Like I said, I don't really know anything about comic books. So like going into this, I don't know anything about this character or the story or the history behind this. So I'm going into this book completely blind and so I'll be interested to see how you feel about it. So yeah, that was everything on my TBR for this month. I am so sorry if this video feels a little bit rushed. I have to leave for class in like five minutes. So I'm just trying to get this filmed in my break between classes. But definitely let me know down in the comments if you've read any of the books that I talked about today and what you thought of them. I would love to hear your thoughts. I feel like that's a far reach for this TBR because most of my books were like required reading. So if you have read one of them, I would be surprised, but let me know. Or just let me know what book you are most looking forward to reading this month. I would love to hear that. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you are having a fabulous day. If you want to follow me on any of my social media, all of those links are down below in the description. If you didn't know, my book is currently out and for sale. You can pick it up at Barnes & Noble, Amazon, the Depository, all of those places. I have all of that info and the links and stuff down below if you want to check it out and support me in my book. I would love you forever for it. And I will just see you guys in my next video very, very soon. Bye.